Hey, it's Cincy Nerd, and welcome to part two of my big toy haul for my trip to Texas. Here's all the vintage stuff and the Masters of the Universe classic stuff. All right, if you have not seen part one of this video, all my modern stuff, a lot of SH figure art stuff, Please do check that out, but this is part two. So this is all the vintage stuff that I purchased down in Texas. But let's get started. Let me show you what I got. All right, we're gonna start over here. So I have seen this Wind Rider in package before at the toy department at other stores. But when we went to Think Geek and I saw this thing in a glass case on display, I had to have it. It looked absolutely amazing on display. And I honestly cannot wait to take this out of package. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of package in the next clip. Once I get through all this stuff, I'm gonna take this out, show you what it looks like, and show you why I fell in love with this thing and decided to buy a whole lot more Masters of the Universe Classics figures at the con. So this right here is the Wind Raider. Love the box art, but you will see that one in the next clip out of package. This one right here I actually got at Comics to Games. As soon as I flew back into the Cincinnati area, because the airport's over by Comics to Games, I actually went over there, picked up my comics, and they had this one here for sale, so I picked this one up too. So this is Cyclone, Masters Classics. Looks freaking awesome. Craig actually has the original Cyclone at his house, and I looked at it on his display, and when I saw this one, at Comics to Games, I knew I wanted to have it. So I picked that one up, that Cyclone. Moving on to other Masters Classics figures, this is Orko. And for those that do not know, Orko has a little bonus, and you can kind of see him down there. See him? That is Prince Adam. That's a full Prince Adam figure, and the bottom of the Orko package. Uh, pretty cool accessory there. I mean, they give you an entire figure, as an accessory, but this is Orko. If you have a Masters of the Universe Classics collection, you absolutely have to have an Orko. Uh, you have to have an Orko, a He-Man, a Battle Cat. Definitely want to find a Battle Cat, but uh, I actually pre-ordered the ultimate versions of He-Man and Skeletor from Super 7. So those are going to be on the way, I guess, in the next few months. But this one right here is Many Faces. So I got this Orko, this Manny Faces, this Stratos, and this Moss Man, all from that same dealer that was basically, they were a t-shirt vendor. And they had these Masters Classics figures over on the side. And the guy cut me a heck of a deal on all four of these. And basically, if you were to look up the retail values of these four figures, I saved about 150 bucks off of what they go for on the secondary market. So I got a really, really great deal on these four figures. But there is Manny Faces. Let me show you a little close-up of him because he is one of my favorite characters from He-Man. Love Manny Faces. I had the original one when I was a kid, but this one just looks phenomenal. So there is his real name is Percato, for those that were not aware. But there is Manny Faces. I already mentioned Stratos, so let me show you him. There is Stratos. Pretty awesome. Real name, Stratos. <laughs> Code name, Stratos. He's Stratos of the House of Avion. So there you go. They make bottled water. Different spelling, but that's okay. Pretty cool. There's Stratos. And then here is... I, would you call that flocked? I mean, he's basically like a Chia pet. He, I mean, he's like got... He looks like a freaking Christmas pine co. But <laughs> well, this is Moss Man. He's a heroic spy and master of camouflage. I love that face sculpt. I'm definitely... If I take this out of package, which I probably will, he's definitely going to be displayed with that face sculpt. Probably not that one. But his real name is, good lord, Krianat Nahorash. 
So I'll stick with Moss Man. Ooh, they have a Scare Glow. Definitely want to get that Scare Glow. Beast Man, Web Store. This is honestly, um, this is a, a new black hole. I guess that's the best way to describe this. This is a new black hole for me, so uh, you will probably see me buying more of these Masters Classics figures at various stores around Ohio, possibly in Texas. Um, thank you, Craig, for the new addiction. I appreciate it. But uh, Craig also collects Masters Classics, so it's cool that uh, it's cool when you have a buddy that collects something and you both like share. Uh, a passion for it. Um, like these guys right here. Let's move on to these. These are superpowers figures. I picked up Desaad and I picked up Hawkman. It was very, very cool because Desaad, this superpowers Desaad figure, is known for those little tubes uh, near his uh, neck and head. Those things break very often, so it's hard to find these Desaads with uh, tubes that are not broken. So I got him, I got Hawkman. Hawkman, you see a lot of these figures without wings. You definitely see a lot of these figures without that, uh, what's that called, a mace? So it's cool to find a complete Hawkman. But I picked those two up from the same guy that I picked up the uh, Joes from. Definitely want to uh, hit that guy's booth up again. Hopefully he's going to be there in May in Dallas so I can pick up those uh, missing accessories for those Joes that I picked up. I got to give a shout out to Nark, Mr. Craig. For hooking me up with these. Uh, I was uh, wanting to trade him for these. I, he had a bunch of extras. I found a Firestorm, found a Dr. Fate, and uh, he was, and I asked him what he wanted in trade, and he said, just take them. It's a gift. So, Craig, you're the freaking man, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, I added Firestorm, Dr. Fate to the collection. He also gave me this one right here. This is Bespin Luke. Um, this is definitely one of the vintage Star Wars figures that I've wanted to buy for quite some time now. But, uh, thank you, Craig, once again, for this Bespin Luke. My favorite Luke outfit in all of the, uh, Star Wars movies is the Bespin Fatigue. So, pretty freaking glorious right there. Bespin Luke. Alright, so let's move on to the mask figures. So, we went to Retro Madness. You might have seen it in the video. I told you guys I picked up some mask stuff. Here's what I got. So I picked up some loose figures. I definitely wanted to get these because I never had a rhino when I was a kid. I always wanted a rhino, but my mom never got me the rhino. She stuck to mostly the smaller vehicles. Uh, so I never got these two figures, this Matt Tracker, this Bruce Sato um, with their masks. And it's cool because they actually made, for those that do not know, uh, and for those that actually care to hear this, they made two versions of these figures. One with a short mask, one with a longer mask. I'm not sure why exactly they did that. I'm sure I could find out. There's people around Cincinnati that used to work for Kenner. Uh, there's also people that are experts uh, in mask toys around here. So I'm sure I could find out, but they made longer versions of the mask, probably just to sell more toys, I would assume. But like this one right here, this is Hondo McLean. And uh, he had a, he originally came with just like a visor, almost like a Cyclops from the X-Men visor, but they made a second version where it's like a longer version of the mask. Same with this Matt Tracker, same with the Sato, and same with the Alex Sector right here. So, and this one came with uh, Boulder Hill. The, and they also made him with Buddy Hawks in a two-pack action figure pack, but I never had Boulder Hill either. I didn't really have a whole lot of play sets. When I was a kid, um, I never got a lot of play sets. I wanted the pit, never got it. Wanted Castle Grayskull, never got it. Wanted Boulder Hill, never got it. Wanted the flag, the G.I. Joe USS flag. Uh, definitely never got that one. But uh, any of these figures that ever came with like a play set, I never saw them. So it's cool to uh, pick them up. What was this, like 33 years later? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I was 10 when these originally came out, but just... These are really, really hitting me hard in the feels, uh, getting the nostalgia for these old mask figures. So really, really happy to add these to my collection. And I'm going to start a new thing with just vintage stuff. So there you go. There's some mask stuff. Craig also gave me this original Superpowers. I think it's a sticker, but pretty awesome there. Uh, what else do I have to show you? Look at this. 
So this is a masked vehicle that I wanted as a kid. You might have heard me in a uh, previous video that I had a, a best friend. He was really my only friend growing up, but we collected the same toys. And uh, if he got a certain toy, I didn't get that one. Uh, just so we could kind of have different toys to play with and stuff. So he had this Hurricane, and I always thought it was the absolute coolest looking car, the coolest looking vehicle, so I never got it. But look at this thing. So first of all, bam! Still got a hell of a spring in this sucker. But that's what happens. That's uh, And then you also do this right here. And you do this right here get that buzz saw out and then you do this right here and look it's hondo mclean inside so let's get him out and i'll show him to you so this is the hondo mclean this is also hondo mclean but this is the hondo that comes with the hurricane and i love this mask that is freaking amazing this right here this is freaking surreal and amazing that I'm able to buy something now in 2018 that I wanted so bad in 1986. So the wheels are still great. No cracking in the rubber. Those are rubber wheels right there for those that never collected masks. But I mean, just look at how gorgeous that thing is. If you ever watched the mask cartoon, the hurricane was in the opening credits, the opening theme. So that's why I really wanted it because I just, I just love the look of this thing. It's a freaking six-wheeled hot rod, for the love of God. Look at this thing! I'm sorry, I'm gushing over this. I gotta move on. But there's the Hurricane. I got this one at Retro Madness, so shout out to those guys. I also got this at Retro Madness. This is the Triple T Tank. It's missing the missiles, it's missing the engine cover, but it is not missing its beautiful gloriousness awesome this is sergeant slaughter's tank sergeant slaughter is the freaking man he was my, one of my favorite shows he was a freaking wrestler and then he joined gi joe so here you go this is his little tank never had this one this was uh one of the ones that my buddy had never had that always wanted it now i got it i'm an adult you guys are adults you buy what you freaking want now. All that stuff you wanted as a kid. Your mom and dad never got it. Maybe you didn't have the money. Now you can get it. Hell freaking yes to being adults. I think this is the last thing, guys. This is the last thing in this uh, little haul here. I lucked out the morning that they were offering these. I lucked out because these things sold out quick. And I got the cereal and icons of General Mills, Count Chocula, Booberry, Frankenberry, the originals of these are just ridiculous. Not even ridiculous, redonk. They're like over 300 bucks, 400 bucks. More than that sometimes. These guys, I'm sure they're climbing in price, but I got them for whatever the frick they were being offered for that morning. 45 bucks, something like that. They're beautiful is what they are. They're beautiful. Add icons, Funko Pops. Gorgeous, right there. But there you go, guys. I need to take out this Wind Raider. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this Wind Raider. I really wanna show this to you. I just wanna show this to you, show you how beautiful it is, show you why I fell in love with it. But uh, there is part two of the haul from my Texas trip. Some vintage beautifulness, some Motu Classics awesomeness, some Ad Icons cereal deliciousness. And you're about to see this Wind Raider up close and personal. All right, I went ahead and unboxed the Wind Raider. Are you ready for this? Hopefully I didn't oversell this, but I'm just super impressed with this thing. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God, look at this thing. Look at it. First of all, it's freaking huge. It's freaking huge. There's metallic paint on the details right there. This freaking harpoon anchor thing still fires. Bam! Look at that. Oh, I just love this thing. I love it. I love it. I just think it looks so awesome. It just looks so freaking awesome. And I'm sorry if I oversold it and you guys are like, big whoopty freaking do, but this is just really, really 
impressive to me. I just really love the way this thing looks. This is literally taking something that I loved as a kid, making it like so much better and making it available for me to buy as an adult. Just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. It took my breath away. Did you hear that? I had to take a freaking gulp of air there. This thing. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this thing. This is freaking awesome. So awesome. Thanks for joining me. This has been uh, four videos now for one trip. So thank you for joining me. If you watched all four videos, I absolutely appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from my trip to Texas. Hopefully you enjoyed this haul, maybe the last haul. Uh, but uh, I had a freaking ton of fun. Again, if I met you in Dallas at the con at a shop, thank you for coming up and saying hello. Uh, that just tells me that you guys are watching the videos and it just makes me feel really good. So I appreciate it. But that is it for this haul. I need to uh, find a place to display this beautifulness right here. But thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for sharing. It's winter now, so you're probably going to see me wearing a lot of these hockey jerseys. Uh, I collect hockey jerseys too. This is Islanders John Tavares uh, jersey, who now plays for the Leafs. So I guess I need a Leafs Tavares or Austin Matthews jersey. If you guys are into hockey, you'll see me wearing a lot of these things. But that's it for now. If you like this video, thumbs up. I appreciate that. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios for now. And collect what you love. All right, so bonus coverage here. I decided to put all of my current superpowers out right now. Just so you could see everything in my current vintage superpowers collection. Here's the bad guys that I have up here. Steppenwolf, Desaad, Mantis, Lex Luthor, followed by the good guys, Hawkman, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Flash, Doctor Fate, and Firestorm. There are my superpowers figures, and I need some more.